God is a supernatural God. That the God of heaven has a nature and that nature can only be described as supernatural. Because you can't see. Bible says God is spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. He's a God of signs and wonders. The one who parted the sea. Cause conception. The one who gave thousands manna in the wilderness. Where will he have gotten all those birds to kill so that they can eat? Which bakery was he using for the matter? Supernatural God. The one who sustains all things by the word of his power. If he says stops. We are all gone through that. If it ceases to exist, we all cease to exist. The God who keeps the one who molds. How is it that a child is kept in the matrix of the womb? Who supplies the food in the womb? What happens that if you pour water on a child, the child dies because it suffocates the child. Blood suffocates the child. But blood flows in the mother and water in the mother and the child is preserved. There is a God who by himself has made an enclave for the child. It's called the womb. He's the miracle of God. It takes only a man who cannot see to say there is no God. It takes a level of darkness to say there is no God. A level of folly to declare there is no God. I stand with the psalmist of old and I say the fool says in his heart, there is no God.